Tomorrow, we are live from the Superdome from 4 to 5 Central Time. 4 to 5 local, so we do want to update you there. We're back at Gordon Biersch on Sunday, guys. So if you're watching and thinking, we already had a fan that, that came and, and saw us that heard about these shows. Come see us at Gordon Biersch. We're on 12 to 2 and then 6 to 8 on Sundays. We welcome in. Right, Paulus from Niagara. Coach, what is happening? What's up, John? How we doing, man? Excellent, excellent. He said you guys met last night and spoke for about 20 minutes. Uh, I must have been drunk. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that for sure. You Did we really? Me. Did I speak with you for 20 minutes? It's great to see you again. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff, did you just hear this? You're good, did you just hear this, missed. Jeff? You're good. Did he really this is maybe the most epic week moment of the week. Just go ahead and so, say. So, man, it's like, great to see you, Greg. Great to see you. Greg comes up and he's like, hey, uh, I spoke to John for like 20 minutes last night. <laughs> I was on Pluto. G GP, GP goes, uh, good to see Coach. you. Coach. Oh, good. Coach. Good. Like, I, I really left a mark, right? I mean, you really no, no, no. You, you want to make that first impression, and, you know, I, I clearly did. Well, it. no, I really, I made a first impression. Lights were on. Nobody was home. Big time. We talked for 20 minutes. Yeah. What oh. state was I in? <laughs> Smoking. I don't smoke. I wasn't All smoking. Right. All, right. All right. Let's jump into this here. <laughs> All good, man. <laughs> Wait, this is this is a big deal to be on this. This is big time. Oh, it's good. Thanks for having yeah. this. Is, thanks, oh, this is great on. to be on, man. Like Playing this, against him. This knowing stuff him. is crazy for me. Again, like earlier today, we have Taylor King. Oh, wow. Taylor King, yep. a blast from the past, yep. right? Uh, just have Wes Miller on, Greg on. Like, I've known him. Uh, I'll give you the, the quick story. Literally, he's 14 years old, nope. and he's the top point guard in the country. And I remember seeing him. I had already talked to him numerous times on the phone, and we just had a connection. We, we really did. Yep. Right? Wouldn't you agree? Yep. Mm -hmm. I mean, you didn't hate me, right? It was built easy. All right, all right. <laughs> <laughs> the first time I see him, <laughs> the first time I see him is in Rumble in the Bronx in person. Yep. And um, at Fordham. And he's playing for his dad. And his dad... I would say this. I got, I got yelled at a lot. He got yelled at. I got yelled at a lot. You know, so you, you got to channel it. You know, you got to. And his dad's find a way to channel him. it. You know, his dad's killing him. And you can see right away. Greg's basketball IQ is obviously at a different level than a lot of us, including his father at that time. Even his 14-year-old Greg Paulus. Mm -hmm. So, dad, he takes him out of the game at one point, and he just lights <laughs> into his ass. And Greg looks up at me. He comes off the court. <laughs> Had a big smile, you know. He looks up at, at me, and he's just he's rolling his eyes. Yeah. <laughs> it, it was you just know, hilarious. Yeah, you know, my, my dad um, coached me all growing up, you know. So I'm one of seven kids, four, four older brothers. I'm the fifth. My younger brother, who actually went to North Carolina yeah. and uh, played football. So he met Wes. You know, Wes oh, yeah. and I have gotten close over the years. I think the, until the, the game. We'll leave on this. Why are you leaving? I know where it, this one's going. I, I, I know exactly so where this one's going. Everybody keeps talking about the, the last Duke Carolina game, which is epic. <laughs> All right, but until that happened, the game everybody always talks about. Anytime you're walking around, is I'm sorry, J I think this got cut JJ, off. JJ, <laughs> JJ, JJ, <laughs> it was JJ and Jel Sheldon senior yeah. night. They were number one in the country, and we went in there in 2006 and beat them. And this is we were guarding <laughs> each other. So, <laughs> I, I, they, we know they, what the result was. <laughs> <laughs> I knew I knew that was coming. Oh, I knew that was man. coming. I knew that was that coming. That Carolina Duke rivalry, man. Right? Hey, you know you know what? Every time you it's see friendly, someone, it's every, friendly uh, hatred. It's like a but yeah. but there but there's a respect level. Yeah. Right. You know, there's like the ultimate yeah. Carolina family, Duke family. You know, Duke you brotherhood. Could, you, you brotherhood. Go, Use the term. I know it came along after you. It no, but it's all. It's all. Yeah. I'm just no, making no sure question. you don't get in trouble. Here. No, no, that's that's gotta, that's a no-brainer. Right, right terminology. There. Yeah, we got to ask you this question because this is what this forum's for. What's <laughs> the best K story that you love to tell? It, it it would depend on you know what what are, what are we asking for? You just know what I mean? One. Like I, there's there's time like the question I get asked the most is what do I do now that I'm coaching? 
that you know and he sure. that he taught us you know what i mean and like i like a couple weeks ago we're playing in the mac tournament just this just one example right so obviously like the standards the relationship he's the reason i went to duke you know like being recruited he, think uh, about this he could have played both sports at notre dame he could have he turned down a chance to play quarterback and point guard at notre dame uh, Xavier wanted him desperately. He almost went to Xavier because well, he loved that's, Bob that's, that's Coach Mata, my relationship with him comes full circle. I get a chance to coach with him for six years at Ohio State. But, like, you know, Coach, the relationship with him, the standards we're trying to create our program that are in place at Duke. But, like, every day you're doing something. Like, we were talking over there, and, like, we're getting ready for the MAC tournament, right? And you find out who you're playing. And you know what coach does that every time you get ready for a tournament setting is he'll put up the bracket, right? Yep. Not the 64 teams, not all the teams in the ACC. It's one bracket, just like this. Four teams. You, you, we, we do one, you know, just you the one right here. Yeah. Like this is yeah. the yeah. only game that matters, Duke versus whoever. You know, we do the same thing at Niagara, right? All right, who are we playing? Here versus here, you know, come tournament time. Like, so you catch yourself doing these type of things that become instinctual, but I mean, there's a lot of stories depending on what it was and where you are, but I mean, I think I think the the one that started it all was my first conversation with him. Nike All American Camp in Indianapolis. Yep. Um, we're playing. You got all the coaches. It's different now. AAU. Mm -hmm. You play on like three or four courts. Everybody's watching. There's only like three camps, and out of Indianapolis, he couldn't call me. There, that's not existent. So I had to call him. Wow. He calls me, and. Whereas, you know, Chris Paul was my teammate at that at that one for, you know, I know Randolph isn't there. But, like, I call him, and that's how our relationship started. And he's talking about he, he liked leadership and the sort of the mentality and the point guard play and him being a point guard. And, like, ever since that point, the connection, the relationship, everything just took off from there. So, like, that that's the starting point. So, I mean, I can, I can go into wherever it is, but, like, that first conversation of how he made you feel – not what he said, but how he made you feel, mm. is there even from the first conversation to him texting me after we beat our rival Canisius, right. him calling when we get inducted into the... What made you believe? Him. Like, his, his way of communicating, his way of simplifying whatever's going on, he can put you in there and he'll put it all at ease. You know, we're, we're getting recruited, and, and here's a story. Like, he's sitting in my high school, all right, and he's saying, hey... The way you play, the way we play, you're going to lead the conference in assists as a freshman. Like, as a high school kid, you're like, oh, yeah, of course I'm going to do that. Like, no. you know, I, I'm, I'm doing this in high school. Yeah. Like, you have no idea. You know what it's like. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. You have no idea how hard it is absolutely. to do it at that level. Absolutely right. So he's sitting there, and he's telling me that, and I'm like, I, you know, you believe him. But whatever he's telling you in that meeting... It comes true. It's real. Yeah. You're yeah. like, I don't know how it works. He's not gonna be at right. He's not BSing you in, in, in the meeting. No, that's and, not him. And it, and it, you could be struggling as a player, and he comes in and he showed me a picture. He showed me a picture of like, this is what I want you to be. You know, he coaches body language, he coaches attitude, he's coaching all that stuff. You did. You struggled at times. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Right, right. You you go through yeah. ups and downs yeah. of learning. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, Duke was the number one team in the country. You're playing with JJ Reddick, Sheldon yeah. Williams. Wow. Oh gosh. You know, yeah, Wes told the story, and and you're a freshman point guard. You got to grow up really quick, and there's a learning curve. And you know, you go there to be a part of that, but you don't know what it takes to play in the ACC yeah. at that level, yeah. let alone the way coach develops, coaches you. And so, the amount of meetings we had where he gave confidence, he told the truth, and what he shared and how he said it, and the simplicity that he shared it with, you run through the wall. And I do it even now. Like, when I became the head coach at Niagara, I called him up. Coach, this is happening. How can, you know, what advice you got? And it's, you're ready. Be yourself. Trust yourself. And, and I get that same feeling I got when I was 16 years old, 15 years old, to I'm 35. And that's just the relationship and the trust that, that of who he is. That's awesome. I, I feel like I know GP so well, but a couple of things like his motivational tactics, I'll never forget how good you guys were. And I'm going to humble brag. I'm not going to go full Shaman, but when we beat you guys at our place. I'm, uh, no, but hold on. Hold on. Why is he every, called why a timeout. everyone talk about the one time? Hey. You know no, but hold on. No, but no, but no. Wait, wait till where I'm getting. Wait Jeff. till where I'm getting. Wait till where I'm getting. <laughs> he calls timeout, doesn't say anything in the huddle, just lets you guys listen. And then after that, you guys went on a great run, I yep. believe, at the end of the year. I, you're going to have to refresh my memory on a lot of that stuff. Yeah, my, my yeah. so, so you guys you guys did that, and it was one of those things that he calls timeout and doesn't say much. But they got on to win and the and national it's, championship it, year. Like you know, it's, 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 hey, 
we obviously didn't play to the standards of Duke basketball. You, like, listen to this, you storm the courts, you know, all that stuff. And ironically enough, I did the same thing. We got beat by St. Peter's at the end of this year and called the timeout, just like, hey, we're, we're going to regroup from this. Mm. We're going to respond. Yep. We went back home, we won two games, and ended up getting the bye, the top five seed in the conference. But it was those, like, instances that yeah. you, you take from playing from him, those leadership-type moments, and you apply them to how we do things now. Wow. You got to tell me, being in the MAC, the Metro You, you love the but, MAC. I love the MAC. I love you're the tweeting Mac. about it. You're following it. I yeah. appreciate that about it. Well, I appreciate you. I, I, I got to hear from you. Even though he doesn't remember you, he appreciates you. <laughs> as long as he remembers Niagara. You know, as long as he, you don't need to remember me. As long as you, you know the program. You're, you're sitting and watching Kentucky St. Peter's. Yep. Like, wh what does what we just saw, putting in perspective of, because you've, you've gone into the Yanatelli Center. You know, you, yep. you just watched a team out of Jersey City, New Jersey, a campus that's two blocks out of the MAC, a conference that, frankly, the budget's not that anywhere close of the hitters that they just beat. What, what's it mean? What's your take on what St. Peter's did in your league? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's historical. I mean, not just the Kentucky win, but Murray State. It's the first time our conference has been to the Sweet 16. And then, and then you put in, okay, now you got to go beat Purdue. And so you go to the Elite Eight, and, I mean, what an incredible job. Shaw, St. Peter's, unbelievable run. But, you know, I mean, like from our standpoint, I think the coaches in the league were, I don't know if, you know, they were going to they were gonna be close. Mm. You know what I mean? Like, hey, you know, they, they played that way all year. That's what they do. But uh, it was awesome for the league, historical, and I think it just shows a little bit of how good our league is. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a little bit of uh, personal here, because I can tell you I've, I've known Jeff for what I don't know five six years. I don't think Greg I have heard someone talk about a coach or a player the way that I, I saw him the day after he had gone to your home, mm -hmm. and uh, to me basketball is about relationships. Yep. I can't tell you how proud he is of you. Yep. He's, uh, uh, no, that's true. It is. You got I'm emotional you with, with me. Your, you got I'm choked up. I'm doing it now. Just, I mean, honestly, like you look at him and with your son. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was cool. That was, listen, it's what it's all about, man. It it's, is. It's, I mean, it's, it's, it's about people. You know, yeah. life, life is about other people. Well, and, I know and, what you've gone through. You know, I, I, listen, I, I, you know, it's your career, the, everything, everything. Yeah. Again, like. People thought you had it easy, right? Like you were a number one point guard. People thought it was going to be easy for you. It wasn't. No, it's hard. It wasn't. You went through a lot at Duke. Then you go, if you play at Syracuse, you hadn't picked up a football in four years. And you go play quarterback in the ACC at Syracuse. Then, like, me included, I expect you to go overseas. You're going to play 10 years overseas, make a lot of money. You don't do that. You want to coach, right? Your coaching career isn't easy. So, yeah, to me, again, listen, seeing you with your family as a father, man, very cool. I appreciate very it. He's, cool. he's been, awesome. you know, it's, it's. Do your, do your play, it, sorry. Go no, ahead. It, it, I'm ruining the moment. I'm it, no, it's, 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 it's about, it's about others. And it's, it's yeah. about, you know, you, you learn a lot about yourself when things don't go well. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then you learn also about the people around you. You know, who's going to be there for you? Who's going to show up when things aren't as well? And whether that's family, whether that's uh, career, whether sure. that's whatever it is, you go, you go through highs and lows, and, and that's when you can go through those with people, um, those bonds, those relationships, that's, that to me is, is what it's about. Be candid with us here. I mean, we sense the brotherhood. Like, do you get emotional thinking about that this is Mike Krzyzewski? These are the last 72 hours. It's... Uh, there's so many emotions that come, and they come at so many different times. You know, like, it's I'm 35. I've never seen anyone else on the Duke sideline. Wow. You know, I mean, what he's done, and obviously playing for him, right? Like, I went to school to play for him. Like, he, right. like, he still, I graduated 13 years ago. And to go back and have everybody connected, the brotherhood, all playing under one person, and what those individuals have done in their careers with their families, you know, like the differences they made in the world, it's, it's, and then you throw in the statistics of what he's done. 
the win, like we say, like oh, a thousand wins, like a hundred NCAA tournament it wins. It doesn't plus. hit you. It's, what that means? It, and, and it's it's overwhelming when you're getting recruited there because you know the story. You're you're like, hey, Bobby Hurley, yeah. Jay Williams, like, and and you have to, you, you want to live up to that. You want to be that. You want to be that next person that the next people behind you come and. You want to do it for for yourself, your teammates, and coach, and it's uh, that the brotherhood is is so real, and it's and and the more you get away from Duke playing, the more you realize how much it's intertwined and connected, and the group chats and the way people talk and come back to campus and the games, it's uh, it's so special. Hey, do you do you remember the time? I'm just thinking of stories. Do you remember the time uh, when you guys got knocked out your freshman year? LSU in the locker room. Georgia Dome. You remember what happened? <laughs> I, I remember a lot of things. Which, you know, so the, you were you were in the corner. Just your freshman year, you were in the corner, balling. Yeah. You were balling. It was I mean, again, JJ, it was their, their final game. So you were in the corner, balling. There was a camera that literally would not get out of your face. Yeah, right, uh, right, right in front, front of me. Of you. Yeah, it but would not get it out was, of your it face. It was me to you. Me to right. you. And, and, the, and the camera guy would not get out of his face. He was in his face for two minutes straight. Greg looks up at me, literally, didn't have to say a word, just looked at me. And I did something that probably I shouldn't have done as a media person. I stuck my ass right in the middle of that camera and Greg. I was like, that's it. That's You got your shot. Yeah. You got your shot of him crying, get the F out of here. He did. Yeah. Wow. And it covered the whole lens too. His, my his ass, behind, my you know, it was unbelievable. <laughs> you know, no, back then no, I was it, thin. I was actually thin. Now, it, it's, you know, that was about twenty pounds ago. <laughs> a lot of years and twenty pounds ago. But but that that's part of being at Duke. That it's it's hard to put yourself in that situation. Every game's in national television. Yeah. The spotlight is there. And you felt and it as a freshman you, because you, you had the pressure on you. You had to you, with you, JJ, with Sheldon. You were the you were kind of the savior. Freshman point guard. You know, it, it's one of the it's it's the standard of, of what you're coming and you want to be a part of it. That's why I chose to go there. I wanted to be coached hard. I wanted to figure out I wanted to be a part of everything. I, I wanted to play for coach and who better to play for? Right. Who better to learn from? And I knew I wanted to coach. Well, and that's so, the crazy part the, is you, you I knew, knew that you knew that at an early age, which is why you probably didn't go play overseas for a long period of time, right? I, you wanted wow. to get started. Wanted to, wanted to get started, and and so that that's was part that of the, your dad. I, I think you know what I, I playing for my dad, being around my brothers. You know, like, when you got siblings, it's you're beating each other up. Everything yeah. is kind of about you know that bond, and you know I love sports and I love people, and so the ability to bring it together with making an impact is really really awesome for me. Hmm. But I, I think like moments like that, you. You have to go through it to learn sure. what it's like to be in the camera, in the spotlight. You got to take it when you don't play well. Yeah. And you can't just get the good when you play well, you know, and you get 15 assists. Like, no, you got to take it when you have eight turnovers, yeah. when you miss the game winning shot, when you, like, just don't flat out play well. And that's that's part of you learn when you, it's why you want to go there, and you got to you got to learn quickly with that because you want to take it to that next level so and, and be a part. How do you think Jeremy Roach is done with this? Being a point guard at Duke that's had some, he's also yeah. had a little bit of an up and down career mm -hmm. so far at Duke, coming off an injury in high yeah. school. How do you think he's kind of, he's playing his best basketball right now? Well, look, look at that that's what you want to do. You want to play your best basketball right now. And he's been, I mean, you look at key moments and times when they've made that run. And obviously there's a lot of guys that do it for Duke, but I, I think he's, he's playing Really, really, he's playing with a lot of confidence, as Coach K would say, a lot of verve. Mm -hmm. You know, that's you know the way he describes and 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 you wants. Heard that, you heard that a lot. You know, you? that was that was yeah. something that you know is I say with my guys, and I you know sometimes I gotta explain what that means. You know, like <laughs> you know what, what's that def, what, what does that look like, right? right. And um, you know, but I, I think he's playing awesome. I love the confidence, and yeah. he gives a different dynamic. Yep. Absolutely, with the ball handling, with the 100%. playmaking, you know, with the way he gets it in comparison to. Some of the other guys, whether it's post-ups, isolations, you know, I just think it's uh, the dynamic of, of uh, the multiple personnel is uh, really hard to guard. So All if Duke right. wins this game tomorrow, you're staying Monday night, right? You're here. He's got to. Yeah, I heard you're painting your chest. You know, is that true? Yeah. That's what you said last night. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, Jeff. I'm just throwing it out there. If his ass Man. covered the whole camera <laughs> shot, my chest, you're gonna need 4K, <laughs> HDR. But I will recognize you tonight. 
I'm going to buy you a couple drinks because apparently we spend 20 red minutes wine. with each other. Red you wine. like red wine? Little cab. Little cab. Little cab. Good. So I like that. You like that? Well, hey, thanks for having me on. Awesome to see you guys. Hey, hold on, one more. One more. Yeah, what's up, man? I wanted to ask this earlier, but I didn't want to ruin this because I thought that yeah. was, I, this was like the best interview I think we've had all week, and I'm not even kidding. It, but do your players know what kind of player you were? I mean, seriously. Like, like you were a big time it's a long dude. Time like ago. it's it's a long time ago. <laughs> now we're fifteen years. No, dude, I'm right there yeah. with you. I mean, I'm, I'm a couple years younger, you, you but know, I, so, so you know, like some days you wake up and the body feels really good, right? Yeah. Like, you, like go you, there. you chat, you're like, yo, you get a little like, hey, first point wins my ball, right? Yeah. Like <laughs> I, I'm setting the rules. I'm calling the fouls. Like you, you like I'm not losing, right? And that's then, fantastic. And, and then I'm gonna talk about it until the next time my body feels good. <laughs> right? Like that's the way it works. Which is what's so, every two weeks. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. So we were actually down. Um, so I actually. So here's here's a funny story. I actually practiced, like we were doing transition offense, getting ready, um, and so getting ready for Sienna. And so I jump in, like a guy goes. Whatever it is, guy went down. I jump in. So I score. So I'm I'm talking some stuff. Like all right. So I'm going again. Like my body's feeling good. So I go again. I score again. All right. So then the next time I come in, I take a shot. I miss it. Whatever. The guys get a good kick out of it. It was open. You know, and so the guys were making fun of the other players. Yeah. So then in order to, like, lighten the mood and mix things up late February, early March, you try to keep teams fresh, you, you know, not just physically but mentally. Yep. So our coaches, I didn't know this, our assistant coach was going through the scout, and the last person the scout was me. Like, it was me. Like, it just comes up, and it's showing, like, clips of Duke, and I'm like, what the heck's going on? Like, I don't, I don't know when to – I don't know whether to stop it. I don't know if they're going to show me, Are like – Are they watching? I mean, they're yeah, like, they're watching, and they're like, oh, like, pretty – you know, lighting up, everybody's fired up. Yeah. You know, like – awesome. So, you know, I, I didn't know if they were going to, like, me get my ankles broke or yeah. – So it, it was great, but it lightened the mood. But I, I don't talk about it very much. Yeah. You know, some of the, the parents and the families and that stuff. Don't but, um, yeah. you know, yeah. it, it's – um. You know, something that uh, I use now as I coach yep. and lead, but uh, I'm not going to – that's just that's just not kind of in my nature. So, awesome. Great, Paul. Uh, thank you for the time. Yeah, thanks, Greg. Great being with you guys. Yeah. We'll Great see you guys. Yeah. You. All right. Absolutely. That's, Appreciate that's, you guys. One of the best, if not the best interview we've done all week. Coach. Does that, does that mean we get to do it again? Yes. <laughs> not at I, I'm not up at midnight, though. I got two little I'm, kids. I'm not, I'm not staying up to midnight for it, but I, let's do this again. I'm coming to a Purple Eagles game. Hey, get that on camera right I'm now. Coming. You got it. Right. I will. Hey, Robert, are you coming to a Niagara game? Yeah, of course. He, he you don't mean that. Well, that's oh, for okay. another. I, I, hey, it's Rob Duster's this is birthday. On it's Rob Duster's birthday. Is it really? Yes, yeah, it is. It's my birthday. Here's, here's Happy the thing. birthday, man. Do you want me to come to Niagara game? Yeah, let's do it. I'm coming to a Niagara game. All right. Let's John, do John, do you two are doing a road trip. I invited myself on for the next time. Uh, you know, we, you guys need like a guest, like 15 people, you know, can't make it. I'll be the 16th. <laughs> Here's the thing. You're, 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 say, you're saying this. You're saying this. How many times did I have to text you today to, just to get a yes? No, I told I've you, been, I, was, I, told you I was coming you, at 7. I've been begging you for, for 48 hours to come on the show. I didn't want you guys to lose viewers, so hopefully <laughs> you're going to lose viewers. Yeah. <laughs> you know, John, you know what I mean? Hey, have we talked about what's more difficult, being I, a point guard or being a quarterback? Have we, have we gone there? Oh, we haven't yeah. done that. Yeah, well, we we've had about a, that? What's been more difficult is apparently – now, here's the problem, Greg. Now I'm going to get myself in trouble. Uh-oh. Where's I have a history of this, okay, of not – Apparently not recognized. I don't know if it's a facial thing. I once blew him no, off. No, he doesn't say hi to people. No, that's you. You looked me in the know. eye and you saw I, me. No. I want, th here, here's what happened. Th no, this is a true story. Apparently, the, I 2000, 2018 Final Four. Where uh, it was uh, was that San Antonio? Yeah, it yep. was San Antonio. We're at the Intersport party, right? Uh, and like Mark Titus is there. I saw him he's there last there, night. He's sitting there with Greg Oden and Tate Frazier and someone else from Ohio State. And Andy Katz is right there talking to him. And I walk by and I see Fanta. I'm like, Fanta, what's up, man? I put my hand out. And he looks at it, looks at me, <laughs> and walks it and goes and tries to introduce dramatic. himself to Greg I Oden. I would never he do that. He looked at my hand. He looked me in the no, eye. No, I did and not. He over to go say hi to Greg Oden. That, that is, is a true not story. what I did. Hey, everything that, exactly that Doster says, grain of salt. If you grain saw, salt. If you saw grain Greg Oden, you would have shook his hand and then you would have went. No, but I would have said, "Oh, great to meet you. <laughs> great to meet you. Is, Listen, I'll be right back. I gotta go do something." I said, and then "Hey, nice to back. see you tonight." Always, said, always gotta go. Nice to see you because if you say meet, meet, you but don't I did know if you're passed before. Yeah. When he turns yeah. to Terrence and goes, "I don't know what Fance is talking about. I spent 20 minutes with him last night. That's how out in left field I was. I don't even remember seeing him." <laughs> Who me last night? No, oh, you, yeah. no Paulus. 
He goes, yeah. fuck for 20 <laughs> minutes. He says, hey, I'm John Fanting. I'm not sure <laughs> what night Greg you must have here. seen somebody that looked like me. You sure it wasn't Drew Carey? <laughs> Greg comes Hey, hey <laughs> Fanta Fan, 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 Fan was on one last night. Yeah. Fanta well, was the, on the one GP, last night. Greg comes up to me and goes, folks, I come meet me on Bourbon Street tonight. last night. It's all good. Dirty things will happen. Hey, all right, hey, 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 look, it's hey, New Orleans. Well, it's New Orleans. Well, it's, it's, it's all good. Orleans. Hey, I, I will. All right, it's his birthday. You guys are coming to Niagara. Who's his I'm, this? Yours. Right now. <laughs> we're gonna, we're gonna. I'm gonna invite myself to come back on. All right, and then um, one other thing here. All right, tomorrow is uh, Autism Awareness Day. Okay. Oh yeah. So um, just want to bring recognition. I know Pat Scary uh, and other yes. coaches oh, um, over the years have done the pin, gained awareness. When you, when you look at we're, we're, this camera right here, when you look, when you watch a college basketball game and you see someone on there, that, that's a lapel pin, right? Yeah, Is that what yeah, it's called? Yep. blue. You have the blue puzzle piece lapel pin on. That is the autism awareness one. They have it every day. I think it's or every year. January 29th? Later that, in the year, yep. yeah. Later in the year, there was an autism awareness game, and I think yeah. that it was it was Pat and uh, who was um, Tom Harry. Yep, yep, Tom Harry. Yep, those two together. Yeah, and they really pushed that, and uh, we've we've had Pat on the podcast before to talk about that. So it's it's a good cause. I'm glad you mentioned. Yeah, it. absolutely. So we want to gain some awareness. So appreciate you giving me that chance to say that. All right, Thank thanks for having me on, guys. GP. All right, the Greg right, Paul. Oh, the Greg Paul. QB, QB one, Greg Paul is QB one. Yeah. Can you still spin it? What's that? Can you still spin it? You run. You go long. We'll try. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. Keep going, Rob. I got you. Wait a minute. Uh, hey, Dagan. All right, G- Dagan. Are we look, doing another giveaway Carter, tonight? Come, come, oh, come we up have, in the hot seat. We have to do a giveaway tonight still. Yeah, we, we have, have to do a, a giveaway. Chat. Let's get in the right. chat. Wait, I, I have a question for T.O. real quick. Where's the hot dog suit? Oh, I forgot it. Well, we never went back to the hotel. Oh, yeah, can yeah. you get in the hot seat? Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Come on. Come on, jump in. Not, we're not doing that. Get in the hot seat. We're not oh, wait, wait, wait. doing he the made, hot dog made, suit. Yeah. He just. Awesome. awesome. I'll all give right. you my number. Hey, QB1. Cart. Right. Right. QB1. Right. 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 Listen. Hey, hold on one second. We're not doing that's it. What, that's that's what we're calling him from now on is QB1. Why did you bring it down to the Look where you're standing right now. Look. <laughs> 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 now hold hey, on. 